I am so sorry for what you are about to witness. Hi, hello, welcome. How's it going? I'm honestly not sure how to start this introduction aside from apologizing profusely before I even start the game because I honestly have no idea how this is gonna go. And I'm probably gonna make a lot of really bad decisions. <laughs> so I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've played a couple choice games um, in the past, one of them being Detroit Become Human. And well, I'll be honest, I had to restart my playthrough because, well, you can imagine how it went. That being said, I'm super excited to start this series. I've heard a lot of really good things about it, and I actually briefly mentioned it on stream, and people seem to be really excited um, about me playing the uh, Walking Dead series, so I'm very excited. I, I feel like this is going to be a fantastic journey and experience for us both, hopefully. Um, if you are new to this channel, hello, I'm Midna. I normally play RPGs, JRPGs, Souls games, MMOs, and the occasional party game um, whenever I, w I need a break. But if you want to come say hi to me live or maybe criticize me on my choices, you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash MidnaBaby. I would love to say hi and love to chit chat with you. Um... Another quick disclaimer, I have actually never seen The Walking Dead. Um, I'm sorry if that's shocking. I'm sorry if, if, if that's bad. I really hope that that's not a prerequisite in order to play this series. Um, I hope I will learn a little bit about the story and the characters. I'm not sure if they're connected at all. This is a completely blind playthrough. I literally have no idea what The Walking Dead is about aside from zombies. Um, so I guess all the decisions that are made in this playthrough are decisions that I would personally make. So I, I can't I can't speak for the character themselves because I don't know who they are. So yeah, just in case you are curious about, you know, how I'm making these choices or what my thought process is, it's literally just if I was put in this situation, this is what I would do. So yeah. That being said, um, I guess let's just jump in and, and see what happens. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Please don't hurt me in the comments. I'm so sorry. I promise I will try my best, okay? I promise. I'll do my best. I will make sure nobody dies or I don't know. I don't even know if anyone dies. I'll just, I'm just gonna try my best for a good ending, okay? I'm done blabbing, that's it. We're gonna play. Okay, well, here we are. <laughs> Why am I so nervous? Okay, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna go in. I need to stop psyching myself out. Okay, okay, we're gonna play. We're gonna just, we're just gonna go right in. We're gonna probably Choose standard. More help from UI and feedback when you make important choices. Yeah, this is probably a good idea for someone who's not familiar with the game. Episode 1. A new day. This does not seem... This seems spooky. Okay. Is this spooky? I don't do well with spooky. This game series adapts to the choices you make. And then I couldn't read the next part. I'm sorry. That's all I need to know, I think. Is this game adapts to the choices you make. Good enough. Blocking credits, I'm so sorry. Oops. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Eh? 
I have limited time to make a choice? Wait, I'm not ready. Why do you say that? Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Uh... What do you say? Yeah, what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. Use the right stick to take a look around. I didn't know that... Okay, wait. I didn't know that there was... There was... Time. Like a, like a time limit to making choices. Because... I'm gonna be honest, I am very indecisive, and adding a time constraint on top of that is gonna be really bad. This is really bad. Remember how I said I'm sorry? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You're from Macon, then? You're from Macon, then. Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that Is his head okay? Mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. Are you okay? <laughs> Hell, the whole family <laughs> used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. <gasps> Wait, I don't want to swear at him. Mm -mm. <sighs> Wait, he didn't say anything. driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Are available for Why is his head tweaking? Then long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This other time... Whoa! <laughs> Wait. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my god, what just happened? Oh my god, just stay, just stay dead. Don't wake up. This is not good. <laughs> just... 
What? It. Thirsty. Ah! Fuck! My leg! Oh no! Oh no no no! Oh dear! There's a shotgun. Why the hell did he have his gun out? <laughs> what do you mean? There was this, like a zombie. Uh. Uh, kick. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. I need to drag myself out that window. Okay. Okay. I'm so anxious. <laughs> I'm so anxious. <sighs> like, they honestly got me because I was looking at the... the officer and did not notice... the zombie or whatever on the road. Until I saw the dialogue choices all in caps, I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I was not prepared for that. Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Well, how are we gonna take them off? Oh, I guess he has the key, right? Officer? Oh, he dead. God damn. Shit. Oh. horror game because like I, I i didn't sign up for this i'm not good with horror guys i'm not good with spooky things did i make a mistake like why did the music do that <gasps> officer <gasps> oh my god run 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 Leave! Leave! Get the shotgun! Get the shotgun! Where's the shotgun? Get it! Get it! Get the, grab the shotgun! Please grab the shotgun! <laughs> no! Oh my god, shoot! 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 No! Stop. Stop. You're stressing me out, Glenn. Don't make me do this! Just do it! Man. Oh my god, what if he was just... What if he was okay? What if he wasn't a zot? What if I just murdered a man? <laughs> I'm having a meltdown. <laughs> what if... What if I just shot him out of fear? Oh no! His skin's all rotten and he smells like shit. What the hell is this? Okay, okay, maybe maybe he already turned. Maybe we're fine. This is fine, I promise. Oh my god. Are you dead? Hey! Are you dead? We just blew the man's head off! <laughs> just blew his head off! <laughs> what do you think is gonna happen? Oh yeah, I'm fine. It's just a flesh wound. Now, how about that story I was gonna tell you earlier? What do you mean? Are you dead? Oh my god. What? How do I get up? I... We're not talking to this corpse anymore. Where do... Where am I not... Where am I supposed to look? What do 
I do. <laughs> okay. I'm so blind. <laughs> How long were they standing there for? It's been five minutes. Help! Go get someone! There's been a shooting! <laughs> it's been five minutes. And <laughs> I'm already in shambles. <gasps> no! Oh no, 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 no. Oh, you gotta run! You should have taken the shotgun with you, though. Oh my god! Oh my god. Hello? Anybody? No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. <laughs> It looks like a really quaint tree house. I've always wanted a tree house. Do you guys have did you guys ever have a tree house? Do you have a tree house? They just look so pleasant. Anybody up there? Like what a nice little escape. No ladder. Oops. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Hello? Anybody in there? I guess nobody's in the treehouse. I mean, why Somebody. would they be? Yell if you can hear me! I wonder if anybody's home. Am I even allowed to open this? What Hello. if I get shot? Anybody home? I need a little help. Hello. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? An intruder, or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. Okay, so we're at a house. Oh, good artist. Oh. <laughs> no way you just slipped on that, my dude. Oh, no, we're all bloody. These, I was going to say that these handprints and footprints look really small. It could just be the artwork, but it looks Should itty bitty. Bad. Looks like a, maybe it sounds like a fax machine? An answering machine? Maybe it's something else. I don't know. There are three new messages. 
Yeah, it's definitely a fax machine. Man, how are you gonna drink this suspicious cup of water? <laughs> All right, we got a, a walkie-talkie. I think that was a walkie-talkie. Okay, there's nothing in the drawers. I'm gonna maybe open that fridge. Can I? Oh, there's a note. Let's see what the note says. Mm. Marshalls. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Oh. So the parents were away. Maybe they're leaving a message on the phone. Where is this phone? Oh, there it is. There are three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, uh -huh. please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. I'm so sad now. Daddy? Huh? Hello? You need to be quiet. Okay. Oh my god, I'm just going through like all these emotions. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me. But I'm hiding until my parents come home. I keep forgetting these these choices are timed. I apologize. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Why am I, like, on the verge of tears right now? I don't know why. <laughs> I've gone through all these emotions. Where are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Oh my god. <gasps> oh no! Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh no! Oh, we're so dead. Oh, we're so dead. I don't know what to do! I don't know what to do! I don't know what to do! Oh, okay. We're fine, we just kicked them. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my god, Clementine! Go away! Oh my 
my god! Oh my god! Man. My dogs are barking like crazy Hi and it's probably because I'm screaming up here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you kill it? Uh... I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you What? Been... No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Um. I think we gotta just get out of here. It doesn't. I don't think there's anyone here to to help. We need to get out of this neighborhood. It's not safe. We're less likely to be seen if we move at night. My parents might come home. We won't go far. We'll try to find shelter and come back here with others. That sounds good. But we can hide in my treehouse until then. It'll be a tough climb with this leg, but that's a good idea. Aww. Let's go. Stay close to me. I don't know if I made the right choice by by going at night, but like, I guess we'll find out. I, I don't know. I'm so worried. Now let's stay quiet. We'll head out to the front yard and follow the road out of the neighborhood. Okay. It'll be okay. Stay near me and we'll move as fast as we can. All right. Oh, his limp. Oh gosh. Mm, is there anything to check out? I guess not. I do want to try to be, like, thorough. Just in case, there might be, like, some kind of tools or something to help us. You never know, right? I try- I try my best to be as thorough as possible when, uh... Ooh! When searching for things. Wait, what bastard? Sure, we're fine. Oh, 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 the police. I George told him. Dude, he won't listen to that. We're friendly. There's a little girl here. Who are you? Oh, shit. You're not one of those things. Neither of us are. Oh, damn. You've got a little girl. We're sorry about that. Well, Andre's sorry about that. Wait, how are you just gonna shoot? He literally just shot at us. My name's Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. Maybe I should have told the truth. I, I just saw a girl inside that house. Nah, it wasn't him. Oh shit. You hurt your leg pretty bad. Look, help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He should be able to fix your leg up, too. I'm not a dad. I'm... A neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just were... <gasps> Also, Sean noticed what I said. Is does he know I'm lying? Let's go. Get to my car. Go. Run, 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 run. Oh my god, am I making really bad decisions right now? I I don't know. Uh 
At least, at least the girl is safe. Little Clementine. Nice farm. Say hi to your dad. For me. Yeah. I'm sorry, Sean. Chet was a good dude. One of the best. Yeah. Take care of you too. I did not want to make any mention that I had crawled out of a cop car and killed a zombie God, cop. Okay. So. I was yeah. Needed to be bad here too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I ran into Andre outside of Atlanta, and uh, Chet, he got killed. No, you're kidding. Those things got him. Dad, I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, Sean. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just <laughs> you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Oh, thank you, Clementine. I appreciate you, girl. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Do I want to tell people my name? How'd this was, happen? Was that bad? Uh, uh. I, I fell, trying to get away from one of those things. That's so. What type of danger has the girl seen? I don't know, to be honest. I don't know how much she's seen. I think she's seen enough. And I think all that really matters is that she's safe now. She's safe now. You're serious about taking care of her then? What choice is there? House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. But what happened to your friend? Maybe that's not a bad idea. Is it bad that they know my name? <laughs> I'm questioning everything. <laughs> it smells like... Oh, we just say it shit. Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. <laughs> I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Aww. Oh, why is my cursor here? I love you, baby. <laughs> oh, is that his his wifey? Okay. Okay then. Hey, get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in no offense. There's a tractor and everything. Oh my god, a tractor? We Let's go. Or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Wait, that's so cute. Dodging or quacking? 
quacking. Dad! See? The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. <laughs> I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. All right. Hello, I will help you, sir. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. All right, be sure to check in with everyone you've met so far, okay? Is there anyone else that I can speak Seems to? Seems like those two are getting along. It's nice. I guess we'll talk to him first. He seems like an all right dude. All right, let's let's talk to Kenny. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Mm. What's your plan? So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting dolphin. and paying. Dolphin? Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Dolphin? How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I mm -hmm. thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But... We're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Mm, no kids? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. See ya. I mean, I don't I don't know if he has kids. I'm assuming not since the option was there. I don't have kids. So <laughs> Like I said, I'm kind of answering as if this was me. All right, let's go over here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> these these fixed camera angles are kind of throwing me off. <sighs> I'm really, like, appreciating the calmness of this farm, though. Especially after, like, the first 15 minutes. It's cute. Can we talk to him? How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> you know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that sure speed things up. All right, I got it. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. 
Damn. Oh shit, Dan. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Sean just won't to keep forget the family that. Safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. I'm sorry about your friend. Thanks. I appreciate it, man. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Yeah, I don't know if, like, honesty is the best policy in this game or, like, I should be keeping certain things to myself. You know what I mean? Like, I... I... I don't know. But every time I see the text in the top left corner of the screen, I get really nervous <laughs> because they're like, this character will remember that. This character won't forget that. This character knows this about you. And I'm like, this is bad. <laughs> is this a warning? <laughs> All right, let's see. I don't think we, should we chit chat with them? I suppose we should. Hey there, girls. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Mm. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. So if he was a teacher at a university, why was he in the back of a cop car? And why were we talking about his ex-wife? And why is he having nightmares about his ex-wife? I have so many questions. What is going on? You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how is that? It's easy. Well, yeah. Aww. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. All right. Oh, oh, we're stuck. Trying to observe him. All right, let's just talk to him. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty oh, last night. Oh, shit. I'm not sure I'd follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Oh, shit. I was on my way out anyway. 
timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh, if there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Uh, this farm's a nice He plot knows of land. I lied. If you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? All right, we gotta... We gotta be honest. My parents are in making with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Mm. I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. <laughs> Can I give you a piece of advice? <laughs> sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. What? Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. <laughs> Why is this man? What the? Go! I'll get my gun! Oh my god, is this game like warning me? Like, girl, you suck at this. Oh my god, oh my god, we have to save them. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What do I do? We gotta, we gotta help the kid. We got we gotta help the kid. What? Help me! Please! How are we just gonna leave him? Oh no. I had to help the kid. Why wouldn't I help the child? Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. What? I was worried about the boy. Look at him. But you weren't worried about that. Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it. <laughs> I feel so bad. But like, why wouldn't I help the little boy? He's just a he's just a kid. Oh god. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Maybe I should have helped. Maybe as soon as he came, I should have helped. I don't know, it feels like it could have gone either way. Dang it. Look! Hey there, you friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Mm-mm, mm-mm.
I don't know why you thought they were friendly. <gasps> oh my god! There's way too many of them! Oh my god, if the kid died there, I would have been so upset. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. It could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What? What is it? I... I have to pee. Oh. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. Then just go! They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. Wait, what do you mean just go? Like pee her pants? It, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. No. I have we nothing have to, to say. This now. Was he? For my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out or smash his head in. Wait. Hey, what do we do about this guy? We well, gotta, he gotta chill yeah, out. It's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find <sighs> us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. Oh my God, where is Clementine? About? He's bitten. That's how you turn! He's is not he? bitten! Please stop this! It's upsetting him! Oh! I'm upsetting him! Upsetting is getting eaten alive! Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. <gasps> I'm gonna kill him, Cat! No! No, 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 no. Yeah? There's someone in there. Oh, it's sweetie. Just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not This the poor girl here. needs I'm to pee. Looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And okay, let's does, let's just see if there's a bite. The first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. Harris. Okay, we need to... We're tossing him out now! Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, Joel? No, no, no violence. You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here. <laughs> no! Oh, no. Oh, my God, no. I swear to God, if I get the girl killed. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm pressing! I'm pressing A! I'm pressing A! Okay, oh my god. Man. You okay? Just great, thanks. I had a feeling, I had a... Guys? Oh no. Shut up. 
Nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Okay, okay, Kenny. Asserting dominance. Hello, Carly. She kind of fine. She kind of cute. Okay, no. <laughs> We're not gonna date. Not yet, anyways. Oh my god, are you okay? Are you okay, my sweet angel baby? Hey there. Hi. Can I, uh, get you anything? <laughs> oh my I'm god. Okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. Meanwhile, freaking Larry in the back is just so, dying. Um, Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh, I'm good. That's good. Oh. Yeah, I, I think Almost so. got her killed. Being good is good, <laughs> despite the circumstances. Yep. Okay. Well, sit tight. Okay. Okay, uh, I think I just saw like a... Like an energy bar or something? Yeah, okay. Is this expired? It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Kids gotta eat. All right, we need to figure out how to get into this, uh, this pharmacy. Mm. The pills are in there. Okay. How do we get these nitroglycerin pills? Oh, there's more energy bars. We should probably take that just in case. Maybe I should check in. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad... That didn't help. What do you mean that violence? Maybe your dad should have calmed down. Like... Rick? You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Mmm. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. 
We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Aww. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Alright, I feel like we already know what's wrong with him, so let's just try to... Uh... Let's just try to help. Oh, Clem, why are you coming with us, little Clementine? You should not be here. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Hmm. Maybe we can find like a key or something. What? Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how His to make it. His dad? Look like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. What? What? Where's the photo? <gasps> There's a photo. Oh my god, was this his family's business? <gasps> Find anything? Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state <gasps> senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? No. No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. Well, good. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. I'm just trying to think back to, like, the cop car. Like, did we did we discuss this? Because, like, I don't recall us really discussing it, aside from him saying, like, did you do it? Oh, my gosh. I think I was, like, so confused by his tweaking head that I just really couldn't pay attention fully to the conversation. We ought to clear this door for when we find the keys. I feel like he should know where the keys are kept. Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. 
It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Oh, he doesn't want to talk about it. a doctor and my dad is an engineer damn jobs. what's your job i uh, teach history and writing and things like that like um social studies yeah like that oh Do my gosh all right a little further <sighs> why don't you want to talk about your family do they, like, hate you? I mean... Like, I don't... I don't see why we would tell her that they've passed. I don't know, man. Like, I'm just... I'm stumped. Mm, I mean, honestly, I would say I wouldn't blame them because he's potentially like a murderer so I wouldn't blame them why did you fight I fight with my mom sometimes we didn't fight we just didn't talk for a while look my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different yeah To some trouble, and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store, but let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay, because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Hmm, okay. Ow! <gasps> oh my god! Are you okay? I hurt my finger! Oh my god, her it's finger! Okay. A little. Oh my god. That's a lot of blood. Oh no. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. I feel like we do have to build a little bit of trust with Clementine, you know? Especially since she potentially overheard the murderer story, so. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh... Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Aww, I hope we find her parents. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Hmm. What? What is the? Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Ta-da! We did it. Is she okay? Oh my God! Can we like give her a hug or something? She looks so sad. gonna keep looking around okay do I talk to her let's Everyone see out there seem all right to you yeah well maybe not the sick guy yeah we'll keep an eye on him there was that thing in the bathroom it tried to get me I know but you stopped it yeah I did can you do that more well I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean get the dangerous ones I'm gonna try Good. <laughs> she is so cute. Note to self, if I ever have a child, I'm not leaving them. I'm not leaving town without them in case of a zombie apocalypse. 
Okay. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. I need to find those keys. I don't know if time passes when I have conversations with people, but I don't want that guy um, to die, essentially. I kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. Mm. My parents came in here hoping to survive, but it looks like one of the most hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. A protector, at least. This is so sad. Yeah, I want to talk to Clementine some more, but at the same time, I'm just like worried. Maybe I maybe I should keep talking just in case. I don't know if something's gonna happen when I leave this room. How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Everyone out there seem mm. alright to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye My on bad. Him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. I was trying to ask her about um Glenn. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. All right. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. All right, so we haven't heard from Glenn yet. Um, that's the door. All right, so it looks like we can't skip dialogue in case I accidentally pick something again or twice. So. Back into the drugstore with me. Okay. Lee. Yeah. You're not bad, right? I. Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's uh, head back to the others. All right. So, we are gonna try to find these keys. It's another energy bar, it looks like. Aww. We can't let anything happen to Don't build it now. I know, hon. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Aw, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone or on the talkie or whatever? Uh -oh. This is Lee. What's up? So I'm down at that motor inn, and well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I I'm still need to... to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do. Somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. But Good. doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. I need to find. I need to get back there. How do we get back there? Crap. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. I don't think money is gonna do much for us right now, Lee. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Uh, radio. Doug. Corkboard. Maybe it's on the corkboard. Mm, IT guy. All right. Before I do anything, I just want to like examine everything. To no, see if we can find I'm the sorry keys. To hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. 
Har har, you're so funny, Lee. <laughs> Lee, we have to remain focused. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. I don't remember them very well. Hmm. Try to get some rest, hun. How can I with those things out there? Hmm. I'm just not seeing anything. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. I mean, like, I don't really care too much about that Larry guy because he's sort of freaked out and, like, I feel like that's kind of a liability. But at the same There's time... No in there from out here. That great does its job. At the same time, I, I want to try my best. You know, I already got someone freaking killed, so... Hey. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you! <laughs> yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? Never mind. I'm sure he's a good guy. He is. He just has his issues. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh. You guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Mm. I feel like he should have an energy bar. Wait, can he have an energy bar? Is it bad for his heart? Okay, maybe I shouldn't give him the energy bar. I don't know what people can have with heart conditions. Let's talk to these folks and see what's up. Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Hmm. How's Duck? How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? Mm. They're gone. They're uh, gone. Oh my goodness. Do you think? How? I just know, right? Cat, it's not our business. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Uh oh. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we it. killed that boy. 
We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed John. Yes, we you did. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. I feel like the blood is more on my hands for continuing to try to save Duck, but... Well, I mean, what, what was I supposed to do? He's a kid. Alright, so we haven't spoken much to Doug yet, so let's see what he's all Have about. seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Hmm. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. Where would these, like, keys be? Like, how would we access the pharmacy? You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Mm. Is it even on? <sighs> Nothing. We flip it over and see if there are any batteries in it. Aha! There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. What? Y you don't... What? <laughs> you don't know where to find batteries? <laughs> what? Girl, please. You are old enough to know how a radio works. Come on. Now, there's got to be, like, batteries somewhere in the store, right? Like, I feel like a pharmacy would sell them. There we go. I would even consider this just, like, a pharmacy. It definitely is, like, a general store with a pharmacy. All right. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. That battery does not look like it would fit the radio, but sure. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. What? I appreciate it. Did I not find the right batteries? Hey, Carly. What? I I gave her the batteries. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. Huh? I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. Wait, I'm so confused. Didn't I just get you your batteries? Did they, were they like not the right batteries? I mean, honestly, it didn't even look like the right batteries, but. Huh? I didn't get any information. Why do you look so suspicious? Why are you, why are you being shifty? Hmm. Okay. I guess we'll talk to Doug. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? I guess, but like, is Glenn gonna die? Let's have a look around. <laughs> okay. Is this is this bad that I'm doing this? Jesus. Oh, jeez. Just eat. As far as I can tell, he's all I care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think 
think so, too. We better keep it down out of here. I don't really have... <laughs> too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. I feel like we definitely need to, uh... Oh, no, what's this? That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? What? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Wait, what? Okay, I'm just trying to understand, like, is that not your brother? Yeah, it's literally your brother. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn, okay. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. I'm still worried about Glenn. Like, I'm hoping that what I'm, you know, doing all of this isn't, like, risking his life right now. should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. What do you mean? It's a combination lock. Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man. There were a lot of those things trying to get in here. Oh. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Wait, so how the heck would we even have saved... What? Oh, there's something down there. How would we have saved Glenn if that was the case? I can't reach that brick. Okay, that brick is like right there. stuff and it just made sense so you're local you probably knew the owners of this place no not really i've only been here a couple months and i spend a lot of time on the computer no just doing my own thing what about you hmm, hmm. i mean i should say that we grew up here here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Hmm. Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. The drugstore's safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and it locks up well. Yeah, how are we gonna get out there? Can't reach the brick. What's everyone like in there? Oh, well, Carly's pretty nice, you know. <laughs> yeah. Lily doesn't take any crap. She's been running the show, keeping people on watch, things like that. And her dad. Yeah, that guy. He's kind of a dad. That dick. guy? Pardon my French. Yeah, no one no one seems to like Larry because of his, you know, anger issues. Let's head back inside. Okay. How am I supposed to reach that brick? Am I able to go outside on my own? Hmm. Let's see here. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? No. Not now. All right. Um, I'm still super confused about how I'm supposed to go outside and search. Uh. 
I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks. I appreciate it. Mm, okay, let's see what she has to say. Maybe we just gotta go out. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, we're going out from here? Wait. I was... Okay, what? <laughs> if we could just go out from there... Ugh, oh, God damn it. Why do I feel like Larry's gonna die? Because I left. Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way! We gotta go, now! Listen, uh -oh. I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. How are we gonna do this? Okay. This is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah. It's more than enough. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Okay, so it looks like there's... a couple? I only saw the two. One, two. Where to next? We can probably make it over to the RV. Or down to the truck if we're quick and quiet about it. Oh man. She's eating something. So we got that one right there, close. How do I examine this? Ah! I'm trying to like examine things, but I don't I don't see anything to examine. Oh my god, this is so spooky. If we're gonna kill all these guys, we're going to have to sneak around. How do I sneak around? There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. Okay, what are we gonna do with this pillow? Like, probably toss it or something? Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. What do you have in mind? I would like to know your plan. We can hide by that pickup. The girl's behind that door. Those two seem to be on the scent. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, that is so creepy! It's like turning its head slowly. Okay, can we go over there? Oh, this is so bad. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. I want to like toss. I guess toss the pillow? Oh, we're not smashing that. <laughs> what are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. <laughs> okay. So much for using the pillow. 
What's over here? Oh god, there's a guy right there. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front. I have no clue what I am supposed to do. What what am I supposed to do with a pillow on a zombie? <laughs> what are my options here? Do we just go for it? I feel like we just go for it and see what the heck happens. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. <laughs> that was sick. Oh my god, that doesn't seem like a good idea. I don't even understand how that possibly worked. But sure. Push the car, open the door. We can talk to Glenn or we can talk to Carly. I prefer cover that can't just roll away. You have to be careful when you ride up on ramps like this. Hmm. If we open the door. Wait, what happens if we push the car? Push the car where? What if it makes noise? We got an axe over there. Uh, can't really do anything about the truck. Hmm. I'm afraid that if I try to push the car, it's gonna make too much noise. All right, what do we have here? Got a spark plug. I have no clue what to do. This is so bad. If I unlock the gear shift, the car is gonna roll back and our cover is gone. Isn't, isn't that what's gonna happen? So I feel like that's potentially a bad idea. Can I... Can I get out of this car? Or am I stuck here now? Because, like, I don't think this gear shift is a good idea. Alright, I think... I think I'm stuck here. I don't know. I could be stuck here. Uh-oh. It's a spark thing. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. You're coming in. Okay, so I think now we can push the car. The question is, what the heck do we do if we push the car? We can get that guy by the wall over there. I prefer cover that can't just roll away. Well, we're just gonna push this. <laughs> Hopefully, none of the zombies notice us doing this. Okay, the zombies do not notice that this is happening. The zombies do not know. Although, like, if we push the car, why didn't we grab the axe? Like, there was a weapon right there. We're not grabbing that right now. What does a spark plug do for us? I feel like a spark plug is not gonna do anything. Can we get back over there and see if there's something? All right, we're gonna... We're gonna tippy toe back here. Gonna tippy toe back here and see if there is something else that we can do. Hmm. There's a truck over there. Maybe we can find you a weapon. Yes, okay, I guess. We should keep looking around for weapons. Okay, so maybe maybe I am supposed to just go and and grab the thing, but like it seems way too risky. Seems way too risky to just break the glass. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Yes, we know that there's something in the pickup. There's definitely something in the pickup. <laughs> what do we do with the spark plug? 
dude. Let me see the spark plug. Dude, he's about to sign these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Okay, this is much a much smarter approach. Okay, so we can crack we can crack the windshield. <gasps> Okay, so like that wasn't what I was hoping you would do. I thought he was gonna be a little bit quieter, but we're fine. I think. I think we're that fine. Scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, I definitely want to scramble brains. I think we need to get rid of this one because if we try to run up there, we like we just gotta eliminate as many enemies as possible. Yeah, this- this guy's gotta go. I mean, I feel like we should use, like, the pillow method. Let's get the ones over there, head upstairs, and get out of here! Well, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, but how do we do it? Oh! Oh my god! Ah! Did it not work?! Did I just die? What? what? Wait, why didn't he use the screwdriver? What? What did I do wrong? Hello? Use the screwdriver! <laughs> I'm so confused. Well, that was the first game over. I don't... I don't know what I did wrong, though. <laughs> okay. That was very graphic, though. Alright, I don't think the other zombie can, like... You know... Push the car out of the way. Okay. Well, dude, I don't know if the girl's okay right now. I'll wait for him to get closer. Okay, okay, okay. Well, how close are we talking? Oh! Okay, I had to do it twice. Oh no. Oh dear. Okay, we, we gotta kill this guy. He's gotta go before we even try to grab the axe. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Yeah, really. This is not the time for for casual conversation. Two more. That should help. So we have we have a gun and we have We have a gun and we have an axe. I feel like we could totally like take them out at the same time. Just in case this goes to hell. Okay, we'll be right behind you. Oh great, I gotta do this. Yeah, this is a great idea. I totally just I totally didn't die like two seconds ago. Definitely did not get a game over. <gasps> okay, okay, we're just we're going for it. We're going for it. We're going for it. It's happening. It's happening. We're doing this on our own. I mean, what can I do? Do I attack you? Attack! Like, hello? <laughs> what, are we just gonna stare? <laughs> Sheesh! Larry's probably dead. I'm just I'm gonna repeat myself. He's probably dead. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away! Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no! Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, what? we're coming in. No, but she's saying no. Wait, we we need to investigate. Why is she freaking out? Is there no like window or something? Like, do you have anything to say for yourself? <laughs> All right. 
I guess we're going in. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. What's wrong? You're hurt. Oh, God. Oh. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. Why didn't you, you say that? Glenn. I do that. <laughs> Dude. Dude. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So can I borrow it? What do you mean borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me. We need to get going. Give it to me, please. This is crazy. Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet. And I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Yes. Back up, please! Oh no. <gasps> Did I make a mistake? Oh no. Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No! 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 Honestly, like, I'm not against this. If she was actually bit... <laughs> Let's get out of here. I like, I like how Glenn was more con- Oh, no. Here they come. Oh, no. It was the noise, though. Get in. Yeah, like, I mean, I'm not- Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and- Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out of- won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills right. out of the pharmacy. Yeah. All right, at least he didn't die. I honestly, like, I thought there would be an option to, like, put her out of her misery ourselves rather than giving her the gun. I don't know why I thought that. But, like, I'm, I'm not against her choosing that. Because, I mean, look at the state of the world. She probably just saw her, had to kill her boyfriend or something. I don't know. Like, it's just... I, I, I am not against that. It could have been, it could have been the wrong choice, but like, I was not against that outcome. Okay, so we still need to find the pills. I'm glad that nothing happened to him while we were away. We should probably, we should probably check in with him. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know, I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. Oh, okay. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Hmm, I guess we should talk about it. Back the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. That's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. 
Good, man. Good. I guess she really wanted that gun. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? Mm, I don't know. It would have been a waste of a bullet. What do you mean? She was dead anyway. I'm not in the euthanasia business. Whoa, man. She was okay. A that's not what I meant She's to pick, but anyway. okay. Try to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, I didn't. I didn't mean to pick that. I just kind of panicked. Like, not gonna lie. <laughs> I did. It was going too fast. <laughs> God damn it. Do you want a? Do you want a, a yeah. snack? I found some snacks. I'm cool. Not much of an appetite. Maybe save it for one of the kids. All right, never mind. I gave it to the kids, but you know, I tried. I tried. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yeah, I guess that is our next order of business. Let's have a look around. Okay. And hopefully I can reach the brick or tell him to take the brick. I can't reach that brick. Okay. Oh, never mind. Can we tell Doug to reach the brick? We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. Okay, you're being absolutely useless to me. We need to break. We need to break this. I've got to knock that lock off of there. I imagine going out the back door and around is out of the question. If we're going to help Larry, we need to get this lock off of there. All right, well, I have an axe. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. Okay. I can't reach that brick. Well, <laughs> can we, like, openly or quietly open this? I don't I I got my words mixed up. Quietly open this. All right, now we can definitely reach the brick. Cool. Okay. Okay. He's sort of blocking the way. All right, so we want to throw this brick, obviously, away from the brother. What is this? Okay. Nice throw. Nice. I got an idea. Wait. Huh? <laughs> I thought they would start walking over there. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Mm, so we're gonna turn on all the TVs there or something, and then that way it'll distract them. Okay, so did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Oh, dang. Okay. So what do we do? Uh, there's not much else. Do we have to, like, reconvene and, like, talk to everybody? And like formulate a game plan. A few seconds of searching it. We don't know if he has the keys. Uh, I feel like I shouldn't leave. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Did you guys try to get in there and get hmm. weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. All right, I was hoping he would say something different, but never mind. Um, I guess we go back Let's inside. Head back inside. Okay. Uh. 
Okay, well that, now that's open. And I feel like that's not good. So what the heck do we do? How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? No. Not now. <laughs> All right. We need to go to the we need to go to the electronics store. Do they have anything? Can they be of any what help? Do it. If you don't mind, I think my family and I are going to rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. Okay. Well, how are we gonna get out there? How's he doing? I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Mm, does he want a snack? It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Okay. So this is where we exited last time, somehow. Mm. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. No? Dad, get the remote for that thing in here someplace. Door to the farm. Can't we just break this thing open? No? Seriously? We that was worth a shot. Keys it is, I guess. Come on. Even the game's like, no, sorry, you can't do that, actually. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Alright, who the heck do we speak to? Am I missing something? I, I, we need to exit. I feel like I'm doing something wrong, or like maybe I'm missing some sort of action. You all right, Lee? I'm okay, thanks. Okay, he has nothing to say to me. I suppose we'll try speaking to Carly. century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio. That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me. And I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. All right. Some new information? Safety. Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps or, or ghouls or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are going to be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. <laughs> what? How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. Hey, a Cherry Blossom Festival. I better get back to it. Sounds yeah. really cute. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. All right, so I'm still not sure what the heck I'm supposed to do. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? I mean, I guess so. I thought maybe... Let's have a look around. Okay. I thought maybe there was something inside, so I'm a little confused. That place is full of TVs and electronics. I can't seem to move. 
We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. Okay, I am so lost. I threw... I threw the brick, you know, and that made sense. But now what do I do? Doug needs to... to scooch over so that I can go... And I can go over there. Or there. Did you guys try to get in there oh, and oops. get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. I am so confused. What what critical information am I missing? Uh, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Uh... I can't look at him like that. God, poor kid. Okay. So how are we gonna get over there? Is the question. Hmm. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Yeah, I am not. I'm not seeing anything out here. So like, what am I? What am I missing here? I. You know what? Sometimes, sometimes this happens when I play games. So. I. Don't even know. I threw the brick. Let's head back inside. Okay. Ugh, what the heck am I missing right now? I threw the brick. No one seems to be wanting to like go out. So what the heck? Is there something here that I need? Do I need to talk to Clementine? Nope. Everything okay? Mm-hmm. Do I need to maybe speak to them again and give them an update? I'm gonna get back to him. No. <laughs> what am I missing? How are we supposed to get over there? Glenn won't talk to me. Mm. Can't really do anything with the ATM. Newspaper. I don't know. Central High takes state. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Mm. There's no way for me to leave by myself. I don't even know how they exited from the back. Yeah, I am super confused right now. Yeah, there's nothing to say about that. How about the ice cream menus? It's all melted now. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the information. Am I... Um, I feel so dumb right now. Like, no one's telling me anything. First aid kit. Yeah, we don't care about a first aid kit. I want to understand how I'm supposed to exit. When it's certainly not in here. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Larry is gonna die. The keys are on that zombie out in the street. Yes, I know, but what am I supposed to do? It's the remote to my dad's TV. Okay, well, we found the remote. That's super fun. Let's watch some TV, shall we? That's what I figured. Okay. So... <laughs> okay, so we have a TV remote. And you know, sometimes remote control... Remote controllers work on other devices. What if... <laughs> What if this remote control magically turned on the TVs in the other building? Because, you know, they're totally the same model. And that's how it works, right? <laughs> We're gonna try. Wait. 
Do I give it to her? Wait, okay, hold on, hold on. I just want to see if this is, like, correct. Doug! How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Maybe... Maybe we Let's can use the radio okay. to our advantage, but, like, what if? What if... Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Is that a thing? Well fucking done, Doug. All that door That's what I thought, except for the programming I bit. Already hasn't. <laughs> Let's freaking go. Now's the time. Let's freaking go. We gotta sprint. We gotta go. We gotta run. We may have Be to careful. kill. Keep an eye out, will you? We may have to kill his brother. Just saying. Oh my god, just do it fast, dude. <gasps> I would put him out of his misery. Hey, bud. We need to kill him. I don't know what happened to Mom and Dad, but I know if you were there. This isn't the time. Soon that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. This isn't the time to have a conversation. I got to do this now, man. I got to mm -hmm. do this. I'm doing it. I just I feel like it's necessary. Oh my god, was this a bad idea? Dude, get the keys now! I'm getting stressed. Get the keys! There we go. Holy crap! Run! Dude! Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, this is sure probably so bad. Let's get in there. This is probably so freaking bad. Okay, let's just go. We don't we don't have time. I feel like I should have just left the zombie. Oh, uh oh. Shit. We gotta hurry. Really? There's an alarm? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is so bad. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Did I, did I mess up? Did I make a mistake? Should I not have done any of this? 
Come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Alright, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can. Oh, jeez. Dear. Oh no. Are you sure? Okay then. Can you look with something to stick in between the hands? Something real. Okay. Okay. Oh god. Oh dear. Shouldn't someone else be looking for this? And maybe not the child. I found something. Oh, the cane. Oh, the cane. That makes me so sad. <gasps> oh, no. You have a gun. Dude. Dude, are you kidding me? I don't know. I'm saving Carly. I don't know. I don't know. She has a gun. So pissed. Oh, I'm so pissed. Oh, I'm so mad, dude. so upset I am so upset right now that this man just punched me in the face after I got him those freaking pills oh my god I am making I'm making the worst decisions these are these are the worst decisions ever I am so not happy with this right now I got I got some words for you Larry and you know what else, what else I got for you, Larry? There is a target. There is a target on your back. Where is he? There is a target on your back, sir. I will not forget this. 
I will not forget what you did. I can't even move right now. <laughs> Where are you? Is that him? Is that you, Larry? You see, you see this? This is a target. This? Oh. Oh. When I have the opportunity to remove you, I will. I will not hesitate. You wait. Okay? Revenge is coming. Anyways. <laughs> hey, Glenn. I think I need to go. Huh? To Atlanta. Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. I should let Glenn go. If I let Glenn go, that means there is one person who, you know, one one less person in the party. He may not come back. So this could be like the last time we see him. Not that he's really been that useful. I mean, he's kind of been useful, except for the whole fiasco with the girl. Um... I don't know. There is a potential that he comes back and he has friends and, you know, we get some help. I also just don't think it's in my place to tell him what to do. Again, I'm making decisions based off of what I would personally do, not what Lee would do. Um, so honestly, I would just say, hey, go find your friends. You know, you got to do what you got to do. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Maybe he'll be back. Maybe he won't be. But I respect it. He's got to go help his friends. But yeah, I do kind of think Glenn's kind of lame after <laughs> after Thank what you. we saw last. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah. Earlier, I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kitty. You got it. Hmm. Who else can we talk to? I guess Carly, because we did choo to choose to save her over Doug. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met, and he was such a... It's just that I think that I liked him. Aww. I'm sorry, Carl. It's okay. Thanks, though. There's been a lot of death in the past few days. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. Mm. I didn't. Ah. Sometimes we don't make choices. We just do what we do. 
I just wish we both could have made it. I don't know what to say. Me too, Carly. I honestly have no clue how to respond with the choices that were given to me. She had the gun. <laughs> That's what I want to say, is that she she had the gun. And she's a good shot, so... Mm. I don't like you. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Mmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom Aww. and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. I don't want to talk to Clinton. you. Another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? What? Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. Why is the music so eerie? I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor in's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Why is the music so... Oh. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? <laughs> I didn't realize that that was the end of the episode. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy, I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! What the heck? Now we're gonna take what we want. It's too many of them! Yo, this is spoilers! This is spoilers! No more, please! No more, please! Please, please! <laughs> oh, okay. There are actual statistics for this. Oh! Uh, okay, lied to Herschel. You and 46% of players lied 
Who would you save, Duck or Sean? You and 30% of players chose Duck. Oh, wow, a lot of people just let the kid maybe die. I have no idea. Loyalty side with Kenny. You and 54% of players defended Kenny. Mm, gave Irene the gun. You and 52% of players refused the gun. Wow, this is a lot of like 50-50s. Who would you save, Doug or Carly? You and 48% of players chose Carly. Ah, okay, yeah, these are very, like, even. So, okay. That's the, I guess that is technically the first episode. Dang. And now we move on to the, the next episode. Okay, this is, uh... I wasn't expecting the episode to be two hours. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know how I'm doing in this game. Quite frankly, I'm trying my best to help everyone um, and make the best possible decisions, but I feel like I'm doing a horrible job. But let's be real, I expected this. So, I hope you enjoyed the first episode. And you know what? If you wanna, if you wanna let me know how you think I'm doing, especially you know, as someone who's not familiar with The Walking Dead, I would love to hear your thoughts on this so far. Sorry, I'm a little speechless right now because I'm still thinking about Larry decking me in the face after getting him those pills. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please consider liking the video, um, subscribing to the channel if you are new, um, and if you ever want to come say hi to me while I'm live, you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash midthebaby. I would love to chit chat with you um, and just hang out. So yeah, I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!